Hello everyone, this is Macintosh Collector coming at you with another addition to my vintage Macintosh collection. This is my Macintosh SE. I made reference to this in my last video with my 512K Mac, saying that I had just gotten this in the mail, and that was about a week, a week and a half ago now, and that turning this thing on, the fan noise was extremely loud, both with the external 30 megabyte hard drive as well as in the machine itself. This machine does not have an internal hard drive. It has the two floppy 800K disks, and then I have attached, uh, this came with it, a 30 megabyte data frame XP30 hard drive. It came with an ADB keyboard, and I had to purchase an ADB mouse because it didn't come with a mouse. So let's see what happens. Uh, the way the fan sounds, I think I'm gonna have to crack open the case at some point and blow it out with compressed air. Maybe that will solve the noise problem with the fan. Otherwise, uh, you know, it might be it might be close to its to its end in this world. But wanted to get a video up of it before it did actually up and die if it's going to. So let's go ahead and fire up the hard drive. Okay, you hear that? Weird. And we'll fire up the computer. Hear that? Just ugly. Nobody can tell me that that's normal. I knew that the SC fans were loud, but that, that just doesn't seem, that doesn't seem right. Anyway, it's booting up into a system. I have not, because I have just got the mouse today, I have not had a chance to explore this machine, so we're gonna do it together. Don't even know if the floppy drives work. So it's definitely reading off the hard drive. We're getting our welcome to Macintosh, Happy Mac, on the nine inch monochrome screen. It's loading extensions. Uh, the Grappler software could not be installed. Don't know what that is. We'll keep going. All right, so we're up and running in the system. Uh, there's a little icon up here. Obviously the time is wrong, so the PRAM battery is probably dead. Wouldn't surprise me if it's not corroded inside and there's a bunch of gunk on the motherboard but about the finder looks like we're running system six and we have two and a half megabytes of ram in the computer and the system is using 301k all right don't care for the uh super white background on that screen i wonder if we should just go ahead and change that Alright, desktop pattern. Something a little darker. That's too much. Let's fill it all in. It's too little. Interesting how you can do this, isn't it? That's probably a little better. Don't want to, you know, burn out the entire screen. And eh, we'll keep it there for now, okay? All right, so we've changed the background. So what else is loaded on this machine here? Looks like we have After Dark. That's a screensaver. Uh, we'll deal with that right now. We're gonna get onto the disc here. So we've got, oh. Looks like the last time anything was done on this machine was 1998. Uh, we have empty folders, we have utilities, we have super paint, sound edit, we have folders marked with an asterisk. 
So we have Microsoft Excel in here. That's nice. Uh, 729K application. So we could put that on an 800K floppy. Um, dialog editor. We have one over here. This is uh, Word. Or WP Dictionary Word Finder Thesaurus Mac Write Main Dictionary. Not sure what the deal is with that. Empty folder should be an empty folder. Uh, sound, Super Paint, and Utilities. Let's open up that. Okay, so Apple HDSC Setup, Disk First Aid, Font Downloader. It appears we have a virus clinic. A virus clinic on a Mac, an old Mac. Okay, well, it looks like it's a fairly clean system. Um, let's see if we can get some info. So it is a basically a 30 megabyte hard drive. And uh, and we're using 27 meg on the disk. Can't be right. I can't be right. No, we're only using 26,000 kilobytes on the disk for 568 files. Uh, hmm. Very interesting. So it's 27.6 meg. Uh, Yep, we're not even up to a full megabyte being used on the hard drive. That's on the information on the hard drive. Uh, really isn't a whole heck of a lot else for it. With this, we've got our normal calculator. We have our chooser. Apple Talk, Apple Share, Image Writer Printers, all of this stuff that we do not have. Uh, make that inactive. No network connected here anyway. And let's see. We got a notepad, word finder. If we go back to the control panel. Maybe some of these applications really aren't here. That's a possibility. Um, Grappler. Something about that when we boot it up. Don't know what that is. Uh, yeah, it's uh, quite something. See if we can extend, we can't do it. Uh, throwing me for a bit of a loop right now. Super Paint. Obviously, there's Desk Paint Super Paint. That's an application. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's kind of like Mac Draw. Okay. All right. Boy, that fan's annoying. If that was normal for these machines, everybody would be a lot of people with headaches. All right, sound edit. A lot of sounds, sound files on here. See what happens if we open up this. Never seen this before. All right, let's open a set. Oops, shoot. Didn't want to do that. Let's open up a sound. Try that.
not at all certain what this is about or how this works. Interesting. Very cool. Are there others? Out of here. Let's see what that sounds like. There's nothing there. All right, well, there's look at that. We'll go back up here to this unnamed folder. We have Microsoft Excel, which is the only really productivity software that appears to even be on this machine. It's like it was part of a travel agency. Look at that. So there's that. I doubt very much that there's any documents. <laughs> Something in Spanish. Not much to that. Okay. But no Microsoft Word, no Claris Works, no Mac Write, nothing like that. So that's really it. I'd hate to call it a clean system. Uh, it's got Excel. Something about MacWrite main dictionary. It's, none of those are applications. And utilities, again, disk first aid, font downloader, virus checker, things of that nature. But no other productivity software of any kind. Um, what I'm not seeing was the screensaver that's in the control panel. This. After dark. Let's see if we went to starry night. So I can't get that box to open up any further. That's probably a function of the background. I'll just lighten it up again. Yeah, it just doesn't want to do it. Well, there we have it. Not much to this system. There's Mac Paint. Microsoft Works. Interesting. Is this stuff even still here? Because if it is, I'm at a loss to explain where it is on the hard drive. Apparently it is. Okay, um, so there's a word processor, a database, a spreadsheet, communications, all types of work. We'll quit. Shuffle pack, page maker, Mac Paint. Yeah, it's called on cue. Ultimate Application Document Launching Utility. Never seen that before either. Uh, well, anyway, uh, I have a 400K floppy disk here with Microsoft Flight Simulator on it. We're gonna see if the drives even work. Uh, disk is unreadable. I do not want to initialize it because it's got an actual, I might need an 800K disk. Same thing. 
At least we know it ejects discs, but I don't have any 800K software discs. Um, I might have to pick some up. Anyway, there we have it, the Mac SE. We've got drives that accept a diskette, eject the diskette, but it won't read my 400K Microsoft Flight Simulator disk, and it seems to me that it should, because it should uh, be able to read things that came before it. ADB keyboard, mouse, 30 megabyte external hard drive, and uh, some productivity stuff on it. Really not a whole lot else. There's a calendar. Thinks it's 2021. <laughs> Sorry, it's not. Can we change that? Uh, well, I don't know anything about it. We're not trying to do it now. So that's, uh, that's going to be a wrap for this video. So it's working. May not be of the greatest amount of use. It's very, very noisy with that fan. Makes me reluctant to pick up any 800K floppies with any real software on it. It won't read my 400K floppy, but it will eject. That's the Mac SE. More of a display piece than a usable computer. Just like the Bondi Blue and the Tangerine Mac. By the way, this Tangerine Mac I did a video on a few weeks ago is now dead. It just up and died on me all of a sudden doesn't even power on it just nothing all right this is macintosh collector give me a thumbs up please subscribe share and have a great day